Good morning. Hope you're having a great Monday. It's time for our Monday Manna right here on Facebook Live. And today we're going to be talking about a very important subject and that, and it's really more of a question than anything. Why don't we let God take control? That is the question that we are asking today. Look at the scripture with me. Do not let sin control the way you live. Do not give to end to sinful desires. Instead, give yourselves completely to God, uh, for you were dead, but now you have new life. So use your whole body as an investment to do what is right for the glory of God. And that's found in Romans chapter 6, verses 12 through 13. I was reading from the New Living Translation. You know, folks, every day you are controlled by something. Think about it. You may be controlled by your ego or by the expectations of other people. You may be controlled by fear, guilt, resentment, or bitterness. You may be controlled by a substance or a habit, but you are controlled by something every single day. Think about it. Freedom comes when you choose what's going to control you. If God is not number one in your life, something else is. And it will control you to a negative degree. When Christ is in control of your life, he always moves you in the right direction. You see, Romans 6, 12 through 13 says, Do not let sin control the way you live. Do not give in to sinful desires. Instead, give yourselves completely to God, for you were dead, but now you have new life. So use your whole body as an instrument to do what is right for the glory of God. That's what he's saying here. So what are the steps in this choice to let Christ have control? Well, admit that you've been trying to play God. Just admit it. Admit that that you cannot change on your own. There are not enough self-help books to help you change. And then humbly ask God to change you. Now, another thing I'm going to tell you to do, and you may not like this one, but you need to be honest with someone and you need to tell them that uh, you, you need them to help you with seeing the things that you need to change in your life. And that's not an easy thing to do, but we have to do those things. And then I'm going to give you something else. Give Jesus Christ total ownership. My life is not my own. We sing it. To you I belong. I give myself away. Do you really want change? That's the question on this Monday Manna today. You may say, I'm so tired of trying and failing. Well then, can I say something today? Stop trying and start trusting Stop trying and start trusting. God gives you the option to either depend on him or depend on yourself. The result is either freedom or frustration, depending on what you choose. If you depend on him, there will be freedom. If you depend on yourself, there will be frustration. I pray for you today. I pray that you will allow God to do something great in your life and that you will surrender completely to him. Thank you for joining us for this Monday Manna. I hope you have a great week. Uh, don't forget, Brother Justin at Sister Shayla Parish tomorrow night with our children online at 7 o'clock. Wednesday night, in-person experience. 6.50 door doors will open. 7 o'clock worship will begin promptly and we will continue. My goodness, what a service we had last Wednesday night. We're going to continue the lesson we had. I couldn't, I couldn't finish the lesson because the Lord really took control in that service and uh, just kind of took my lesson a different direction. So I'm going to try to come back and now finish this lesson with a little maybe a different outset uh, than we had last week and uh, try to finish the night that nobody slept. We're going to call it part two tonight, or uh, Wednesday night rather. So join us there. Thursday night, our throwback Thursday, but the Chris Richardson will be speaking, Who is Our God? A service from 2009. And uh, that will be at seven o'clock Thursday evening. First Lady Friday is every Friday night at 7.30 p.m. Have a great week, guys. I hope you all have a great day today and the rest of your week. We're praying for you. You can do this. You can live for God. God bless you. Have a good one.